Thank you for tuning in with Enchantress, that is me, the babbler, that is me, on this evolutionary, revolutionary rise of an uprise at this time. So I was done doing this stuff, guys, and then I decided to shuffle again with the True Love Oracle cards, right? And then the first card that came out was Worthiness. I was just like, okay. And the second card that came out was the Divine Feminine. Again. And the third card that came out was... You guessed it, the Divine Masculine. And then the fourth card that came out was Forgiveness. All right, and then a whole swarm of messages. Before I even go and read the Worthiness card, which is the one that I wanna read, um, there's a big message on forgiveness. Starting with yourself. This applies to both the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine energies, both. And their levels of feeling worthy, feeling good enough for one another. First enough, feeling good for yourself. Now, there's a lot of life lived before these two meet. And to have expectations of the other would be to deny life to be lived or explored because one has these viewings, lenses on based off of their own conditioning, upbringing, lifestyle, way of being, way of seeing, way of acting. So much work that is worth so much is going on for these two. And a huge part of their work is learning how to feel worthy to receive the abundance that this kind of partnering will bring. Forgiveness is needed. We also hear that maybe someone feels that they can't be forgiven. It's not true. Maybe someone feels like they shouldn't be forgiven. That's not right. So we are going to read the worthiness card. Remember that you were created perfectly by the loving forces of the universe. Believing that you deserve to be loved is a very powerful state of mind and way of being. You have drawn this card today because your angels and guides would like to encourage you to understand one very important fact. You are the only one who can truly decide that you are deserving. No one else has that right, yet we give this power to other people and even to trends in fashion time and time again. No matter who you are or what you have done during your life, it is unlikely that every person you meet will like you and want the best for you. It is possible to spend your entire life analyzing why certain people form the opinions they do. It's also possible to spend your entire life trying to please them and make them like you as though this will make you a better person. Consider now the choice you have before you and choose to accept that you deserve love. Happiness. You deserve love, you deserve happiness, you deserve support, you deserve companionship, you deserve friendship and all the good things right now. Not because somebody else has said so, but because you are responsible for the quality of your own life. There is nothing in the universe that judges you or finds you wanting. You are not expected to be perfect. One of the defining factors of a soulmate relationship is that you will grow and evolve together. Scary, I know. 
Take a moment now to look at yourself in the mirror. Yes, really. Look into your own eyes and notice your miraculous uniqueness. This universe would not have created you if you were somehow faulty or defective, useless or unimportant. So from now on, remind yourself that the loving forces of the universe created you and that you naturally deserve to love and be loved just as you are. Okay. Now we have forgiveness. Oh, I almost found it. When you forgive yourself and others, you create more space for light and love to flow in. And I'm just going to leave that. The forgiveness mantra. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I am forgiven. And that is all. Um, thank you for tuning in with Enchantress, that is me, the babbler, that is me, on this evolutionary, revolutionary rise of an uprise at this time. I'm very thankful. These were from the True Love Reading Cards by Belinda Grace. If you like this kind of message and reading, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll tune in continuously with our divine for our line, especially in regards to the soulmates in our life. There is some major transformation going on. Some news that you shall receive that will be transformative. Some new beginnings happening. Oh my God, in the dating scene. <laughs> because you're here on this self-respecting like tour of manifestations in your garden. Emotional freedom is part of your life purpose. Okay, we're going to go now. All right, so have a great one.